Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my videos. We are discussing hypertension. If you have not seen the main video yet, you definitely wanna check that out. The main video is right here. So in this video, what we're doing is we're going over nursing exam or NCLEX style questions that you could potentially see on your nursing exam or NCLEX examination. It's really important to review as many questions like this as you can because the more questions you review, the easier they will get because honestly, the information starts to overlap after some time. So without any further ado, let's get right into the question and let's go over question number one. Question number one. The nurse should ensure an accurate blood pressure measurement is taken to initiate and maintain the appropriate plan of care for every client. To obtain an accurate blood pressure measurement, the nurse needs to observe which of the following client variables. Select all that apply. A, avoiding tobacco at least 30 minutes prior to measurement. B, avoiding caffeine at least one hour before measurement. C, make sure you use the appropriate blood pressure cuff size and not applying it over clothing. D, request that the client is sitting comfortably. E, the blood pressure cuff should be firmly secured but not too tight or loose prior to cuff inflation. When approaching select all that apply options, you want to carefully analyze the answer options one by one. Also, make sure you understand exactly what the question is asking for because some NCLEX style questions are negatively phrased. In option A, avoiding tobacco at least 30 minutes prior to the measurement, well, this would make sense as nicotine can raise the blood pressure. Option B, avoiding caffeine at least one hour before measurement. Well, it's only recommended to wait 30 minutes, so you would have to consider this answer option wrong, although it is a little tricky. In option C, be sure to use the appropriate cuff size and not applying it over clothes. The size of the cuff is extremely important. For example, a cuff too tight may show a reading that is inaccurately high, and the opposite is true if the cuff is too loose. It can show an inaccurate low reading. It is also important to not place the cuff over clothing, making this answer option correct. In option D, request that the client is sitting comfortably when you are checking the blood pressure. When you're taking blood pressure, it is supposed to be considered a resting blood pressure. I have had a lot of patients who have faced stressful situations and one thing that I learned is that if a blood pressure reading is much higher than their norm, I will ask them to take some deep breaths, relax, and let them know that I will return in about five to 10 minutes to retake it. I promise you 95% of the time when I come back and check it, the reading is back to their norm. So this answer option would also be considered correct. And the final answer option, option E, the blood pressure cuff should be firmly secured but not too tight or loose prior to cuff inflation. Again, as discussed in option C, you want the cuff to be just the right size not too tight or too loose, making the final answer options A, C, D, and E. Because all of these are correct variables to observe in order to obtain accurate blood pressure reading. All right guys, we really hope that you enjoyed that question. So we're gonna post the next question very soon, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and also sign up for email updates. Thank you as usual for all of your love and support. We really appreciate having you. And all right, so we will see you in the next video very shortly. Love you, bye.